action just ahead with BYB9. Let's meet the fighters. First, fighting out of the blue corner. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. He holds the bare knuckle record of one win, one loss, and he fights out of Cape Coral, Florida, by way of Brasilia, Brazil, Carlos Mistoca Alexandre. And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. He holds an undefeated bare knuckle record of one win, zero losses. And he fights out of Turkey, Devon, England, introducing Toby Wardog Bindan. Our referee in charge, Wayne Spinola. All right, gentlemen, we're over the rules in the back. Obey my commands at all times, protect yourselves at all times. You want to now, shake hands. Step back, I'll get you guys started in one second. Step back. Step back. Wayne Spinola, our referee, Paulie, you and I were talking about mm -hmm. the fist pump and touching hands. Yeah, <laughs> Carlos, he, Carlos was he, uncertain if he was going to do <laughs> so. <there. laughs> we had a couple guys last night, uh, <laughs> Benny, on a boxing show that we were doing like the, the triple pump. And <laughs> Paulie's like, I didn't even want to touch gloves at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Game ben, face is game face. That's it. Binden has the red wraps. He's got the black and gold trunks. Blue wraps for Carlos Alexandre. Seven professional MMA titles back at home in Brazil. He has the white trunks. He's sharp with the jab is Alexandre. And that, those long arms can really... Look how focused he is, though. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's not waiting for anything here. This weird jumping jab. He's already got Binden bleeding. He's got this weird jumping jab. It comes out very sharp. And that was my first question when I, when I met uh, Binden. Was I asked him, I said, do you cut easily? Because you look at that face and structurally. And he's again, oh, he's hurt there. He's hurt right on the nose. Oh, and again. Great shots. Three. Three. Shots. Oh, oh, he's done. Oh, five, six, seven, this may be it. Eight. Come on over here. Give me a hand. No, no, he's done. You okay? You want to keep going? It is all over! Just like that! Xavier was very, very sharp. Was wow! Xavier was very, very sharp. You see, you are very sharp. And then he turns out and then went with that left cross as well. Sharp, sharp. I'm not telling you. And he was so composed in his stance, too. But you see how upright Binden was? He was totally upright. Never really bent. Nah. So that, that was right there yeah. when he went up with that shot. But he sort of had this like little hip hop in, in there. Like it was coming, it was shooting in like an arrow. Like boom. You know, like look. Like, here's the left the left cross that actually dropped, got, did the damage that hurt him. You could, hurt, you could see Binden was hurt. I don't even think that second one even landed. No. He was hurt from that first. That was the one that really hurt him. The and you timing. Could see, you could see the little hip stop, hip, little stutter step that he did after the initial left hand. And you know what's interesting? That's the one right there. You see, that? You see, it does like a little stutter step. And right then the there. second one actually grazes him. It doesn't even go down. And you go by me, but he goes down from it. That's the one. Boom. And he had already taken some sharp jabs right before that. And you know, Alexander doesn't speak that much English, but he understood enough of what Binder was saying. I got to I gotta, I'm go sorry, go, go, I gotta ask you, did he cry after the first one too? Because I swear, I swear to God, I remember him crying. Yeah. Right? He, so he cries every time he wins. He does. <laughs> but you know, he doesn't understand that much English. But you know, Mike, he did understand that Binden was talking to other fighters already lining up his next fight. Yeah. Ah. Alexandra took great offense yeah. to that and said that is the utmost of disrespect. And you, that's how, at the beginning, the shaking of the hand wasn't really a big priority for Alexander. There you go. There's the storyline. I'll tell you, Des Green's win over Alexander is even more well, impressive. I'll tell you, man. Here's the deal. Going the distance against Desmond Green is ultra impressive for Alexandra as yeah, well. as well. You're right. I mean, Desmond Green's a beast. Yeah. But he looks even more beast now after seeing this. Yep. Another first round knockout inside the Trigon for Mistoka. For the official decision, Big Mo. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Wayne Spinola calls a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by TK. He 
said, it's my dream to fight in BYB bare knuckle because it is the closest thing to a street fight. That did not look anything like a street fight. That man looked like a great boxer. 